Hello, Earthling. It is I, Dorf. I trust the tasting went well for you. Ooh, perhaps I should clean you. It looks like it went very well. Hold still here, and I will just eat you all cleaned up, human. Mm. There we go. Are you feeling better? Wonderful. There is good news to report. The elders have informed me that you passed the tasting with flying colors. And due to all of your sigil markings, you have been deemed of high importance. Oh yes, this is very good. It means you are free to roam all of Zorf and learn all there is to know about it. Well, you can embark on your own. Or, if you would like, Earthling, I can show you around, yes? Very good. It would be my pleasure. Now let's just finish cleaning you off here. I trust you slept well. Nightmares of being licked. Oh, that does sound quite awful, human. <laughs> let's just get you all cleaned up here. Here we go. A shower? What is a shower? Bath? Oh, I see. So a human would partake in sitting in a liquid to clean themselves. Hmm, but would that not be redundant, Earthling? Sitting in a liquid of your own filth? You humans are quite fascinating, yes. No, we do not have baths on Zor. We are not uh, filthy creatures, human. We do not need these baths. Very well. Anywho, we do have to go ahead and get started and make sure you are all okay. Well, if you're going to go ahead and embark on a journey around Zorf, Zorf is a rather large planet, much bigger than that of your Earth planet. And the only means of travel around Zorf is a flight. So, I am going to teach you how to fly. That way you can travel Zorf, even when I am too busy to help you. Very good. First, let's go ahead and make sure that you're acclimating to our climate. Have you had any problems communicating with the others? Our language can be hard to understand for you earthlings, but most people on Zor have undergone some form of language communications. Some have English, some others, but it should not be too hard. Most have translators as well. Hold still here. I'm going to take a look at
outside pressure briefly. Good. How are you feeling? Have you noticed any pain or any discomfort since landing on our planet? No, that is very good to hear. Next, I am going to scan your extremities once more, and again, this will give me your overall reading. Make sure you're healthy and up to date. Hold still here. And here we go. Just breathe in and out. Very good. The readings have come back quite positive, Earthly. How is your head feeling? Very good. I only ask because here on Zorf, we have a higher oxygen percentage than that of Earth's atmosphere. So you may start to feel a little lightheaded. Please let me know at any point if you're feeling dizzy. Wonderful. Now, we are not going to do a full exam, human. I'm just going to take a quick peek into your eyes, and then we will do some slight hearing tests. If you're going to pilot one of our ships, you just need to make sure that your sense of sight and your ear holes are good to go. Wonderful. Hold still here while I look into your eye holes. I apologize, Earthling. I was just speaking in my natural tongue. I sometimes like to speak out loud to myself. Now hold still here. And I'm just going to swing this from one eye to the next. Are you having any problems with your vision since landing? Or Please do not hesitate to let me know if you notice any changes to your bodily extremities. Thank you. And now, human, keep your head, neck, and shoulders still, and please follow the little light with your eye holes. Here we go. Very good. Okay. Next, 
I'm going to take a look into your ear holes. Hold still here. Everything looks good here. You have some excess secretion. Probably do. will be sure to extract that for you. Great. Great. Let's check the other side. Oh yes, there seems to be some Let's go ahead and clean up your gross earthling secretions. I mean, your totally normal and completely sanitary human secretions. Hold still here. Here we are. Other side here. Can you hear better through your ear holes now, human? Perfect. Let us give it a test. I have this tuning hearing device. I'm going to give it a little hit. Hold it up and you tell me when the noise have completed. Yes. And again. Alright, yeah. And one last time. Very good. Let us continue. Next up, human, we have our eye chart. I did briefly show this to you last time we had meeting. Yes. So, I will point two different letters of our alphabet and you tell me what it is that you see. I hope you've been testing as you must know our alphabet in order to fly our 
flight craft. All right. Are you ready? Yes, we did start easy. And wonderful, really. At this rate, you're going to be better at Swerve language than I am at the English. Um, let's do here. Very good. And here. I'm going to move back a little bit and we will do it three once more. Yes. That is correct. Excellent. Wonderful. Very good. I am, as how you say, impressed. Now, the next part of your flight training is to make sure that you can see all of the colors. Unfortunately, you cannot fly if you are colorblind. Alright. You are not of the colorblind, are you human? Very good. But don't you worry, Earthling. If you are a color blind, I will still let you try and fly. But between you and me, Earthling. Alright. Let us start the exam. You just tell me what symbol you see in our circle bubble. No, it is not of the upside down. Oh. What number does this appear, human? And here? Oh, no. It is as I feared. Your human spectrum seems to lack colors that we Zorthians see. We must have a larger color spectrum. That's unfortunate. That's a be okay. You just continue with the exam and tell me what you see. Okay. And here. I see. And how about this one? Hmm. Okay. Noah, you did, as you humans say, of the, of the all right. Mm hmm. All right. That is okay. I will still try and teach you how to. It is not your fault that your eyes are not equipped for our color spectrum. Though, it might be a bit more difficult for you. Lucky enough, there are not many signs that you need to adhere to. The sky is vast and open, so... There's not many rules to follow, as long as you watch out for the other ships and keep your distance. All is well. Let's start with the kinds of ships that we have. This is our UFO sighting set one. Here you will see all the different flying ships that we have. No. Funny enough, you earthlings call UFOs unidentified flying objects. When in actuality, we call them universal flight orbitals. Since you were all fairly close enough, 
you've never felt the need to correct me. So, slowly throughout your stay here on Zora, I will go in depth with you on each different one. However, the one that you've flown in on was A3, the standard one you humans like to refer to. So that is where we will start. Yes? Wonderful. Now, we will have an actual simulation where I show you, in real life, how to work the control panel. For now, this is what our control panel looks like. It is all touchscreen monitors, and it is very easy to follow, even for you Earthlings. Yes. All of it should be run on autopilot, so you do not have to do much. You should be able to just enter in the coordinates here, and it'll take you to your destination. If you wish to fly manually, you'll see this hexagonal pattern right here, and you can just zoom in, out, and rotate, and pick the place of your flight departure. These are maps to different planets and solar systems, and these are the ship statistics and how it's run. Very easy. As I mentioned to you earthly, there's not many laws that must be abide when you're flying. You can go as fast as you like as long as you're watching out for the other ship. Our maps work very well, and we're able to track all ships around us, so that should not be a problem. Especially when you're on autopilot. Though there is one universal important sign in all of the solar systems. And that is where the abduction sign comes in. If you see our abduction sign, you cannot park in that location, as it's meant for pickups and drop-offs only. Understandable? Very good. Any questions for me so far? Wonderful. Well, you passed your inspection for flight school with its extraordinary colors. Bad choice of words. Limited colors. And you went ahead and I showed you the brief introduction to flying, so next time we will handle your simulation. Very good. Let's head to the A3 loading deck. Perfect. I will have one of my co-workers show you the way, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye for now, Earthling. Jackson Arnold, J.D.